Dragons. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Gabo, back with the whole shit. Dang, you know what to do. Uh, thank you to all the new subscribers. We're over 100 subs. Oh, damn. We're over 100 subbies now. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting me. And to all those who are new, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, okay? Click the notification button, like, comment, and share with your family and friends before we even get into it, okay? Okay. So, um, today we're going to be doing a campus tour vlog. I'm going to be showing you guys what my school looks like, the environment around it, and I hope this encourages people to consider coming here to do their studies, whether it's your foundation, your, your undergrad, your masters, yeah, whatever it is. Um, I just hope that it's like motivating for you guys and I'm gonna be enjoying making this vlog because I, I really love the environment that I'm in or at school. So that's gonna be exciting. I hope you guys enjoy this video too. Let's get into it. Right, guys so this is where my university is located um this is called the academic city where it's a complex where like there's a bunch of universities so like middlesex birmingham university of birmingham all those unis but that's where my university is located i'm on my way downstairs to catch a bus to school yay i'm so tired guys ish, ish, ish. present moment i'm at the stage where i can't do it anymore now i'm on my way to school uh in the bus sitting by myself because i don't like people yeah ew. anyways um i was acting like i was in a music video as you can see i was just staring into space and just thinking about life and like you know for the dramatic effect of course and i was bumping to the music i was listening to some some good good music that that real good music and yeah i was literally in another dimension so we've arrived uh this is the academic city by the way my school is very small it's literally like a specific floor and there's two blocks so block 10 and block 11 uh because there's not many students anyways so yeah here we are on the fourth floor that's where like, the school is so this is me entering to show you guys what it looks like so this is the reception area right exactly a uh, seating area for any visitors or students visa services office transportation services office and um here i was just showing you guys the different pictures on the wall they talk about a lot of different things this is one of the lecture theaters i couldn't get into the room because it was locked so yeah this is one of the lecture theaters did you see theaters ish theaters sorry <laughs> theaters and this is just a section where there's like motivational quotes for those who like being motivated and need that little uh push yeah that's basically that section so here are some of the classrooms i'm going to show you guys so here is the classroom for mainly business students where they have like group discussions during the lectures and whatnot these are some offices and there's also some group study areas so if you have a group project that you all need to work on you can just uh, book a room and go in there this is one of the classrooms uh, like i say there's not many students i think there's like a maximum of 30 students per class uh the campus is small like i mentioned next we have the student lounge where people just come to chill there's a bunch of games to play there's pool foosball table tennis and i think people are just like like i don't know what's going on but hey um <laughs> that's what content creators do i wanted to show you guys uh what this place looks like and yeah it's it, it looks pretty cool i can't lie it's a very cool vibe and all okay so next we have the calendar for the month so every month they do post up on this calendar what events are taking place and one thing i love is that there's so much happening so many engaging activities and that's very exciting for your mental health as well it's good and here we have one of the uh, informal lounges so basically people come here and study 
or chill or even to take a nap uh they can come and take a nap they also have other games they've got chess scrabble uh and grab a word if you want to play with your friends you can sit and play they also have these uh branded clothes and caps and bottles all that uh that you can buy uh so i mean if you want people to know that you go to curtain you can buy that and yeah so this is just another view of the room uh we have computers that are accessible to everybody's use and the hammock uh for people to take a nap if you want to take a nap you can take a nap nobody's gonna ask you and there's those pretty lights up there okay so on to block 10 uh we have a couple of offices this is curtain life this is where uh events are organized by uh, students in the student council and on the wall there's a little bit of history about the university and how it came to be so that's very very cool yeah we have the, the library uh it's got a lot of different types of books uh journals newspapers blah 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 the list goes on and it's a very chilled calm vibe very colorful as well so i really really like that about the university library moving on we have a community lounge again where people can just come and relax or come and study it's really all up to you we have the it services department uh so yeah that's the office there and most of the other rooms were locked so i couldn't enter but we have foundation your classrooms as well and the computer labs are this side as well yeah so that's one of the computer labs and yeah so I'm done showing you guys inside because like I said, uh, we're not a lot of students. That's why it's a very small like um, block or whatever. But anyways, outside there's a bunch of seating areas for anyone really. And we have a food court. So if you're hungry, if you want to grab something to eat, there's different little stalls. And there's a big food court as well in the middle of the, of the city so if you want to come and eat there's a variety of restaurants there's starbucks and a bunch of other restaurants where you can just come and chop your money chop your money because life is short life is short life is for living okay chop your money come and eat you know uh but yeah we have different restaurants at our disposal so that's very very nice and so many cool things to try your girl was hungry, so she decided, let me grab some food. I've never bought food from here. This was my first time. So, yeah. I decided to get some food because I was hungry. Moving on. Uh, on this uh, campus as well, there's a little mini mart. So, if you want to buy some snacks, some drinks, uh, small things, you can just head into the mini mart they have a couple of different uh, things you can buy so here we are there's ice cream there's chips there's biscuits there's just a lot uh, to choose from so yeah i think mainly snacks and they also sell like convenient things like flash sticks and earphones and all that jazz so that's what they have in their cute little store and that is it. I am back in my room with my bed, the love of my life. Finally, finally, finally. But before I end this video, guys, I'd like to talk a bit about the university, um, how I applied and what I considered or why I applied to go here. Uh, so first things first, Curtin University is a very reputable uh, university. It has different campuses mainly Perth, Australia, um, Malaysia, Singapore, Dubai, Mauritius, and apparently there's a new one in Sri Lanka. I'm not sure if it's officially been opened, but we've been informed that it's there. And uh, Curtin University is ranked, how is it ranked? 183 in the QS World Ranking. So that's a very good ranking and it's in the top 1% worldwide. So that's very, very good um 
the advantage with this university is that you can always transfer to a different um, campus and the learning system will be the same, your credits are the same, da -da 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 -da. same, 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 everything, the way of teaching, same way of learning, yada, yada, yada. So if I decide, no, this semester I want to go to Mauritius, I'm allowed to go to Mauritius. If I want to go to Australia, I can go to Australia and so forth and so on. I know that's not how you say it, but yeah. Anyways, um, how I applied. So I was just doing some research um, on universities in Dubai and I happened to find this one. I don't quite remember how, but I found this one. Then I just applied. The application is very, very simple. All you need to do is to put in your details. Um, they also ask for your results. They also want to know what you want to study. And in terms of what you'd like to study, there's a range of programs available. There is accounting, international business, there's finance, digital marketing, cybersecurity, IT, um, communication, psychology. I'm pretty sure there are more than that. Oh yeah, there's engineering as well. And there's probably some I haven't mentioned, but uh, you can go onto the website and just check all of that out depending on which campus that you want to go to. Um, what's the other thing? So yeah, the application process is very simple. No application fee required. Well, well, at least when I applied, I'm not sure about now, but when I applied, that was literally the process. And they do respond quick, I think, give it like three weeks or less actually they will get back to you well at least for this campus i'm not sure about other campuses but for this one they will uh respond to you at a reasonable uh time another thing the reason why my university isn't big is because we're not a lot of students we're about 500 in total and their classrooms are designed in such a way uh that they incorporate like not too many people so like 30 to 40 or even like 25 to like 30 max the reason they did this is because they want to instill what can i say they want to make sure that professors and the students have a closer relationship to each other so my lecture should be able to like know my name you know that type of thing and I can be able to develop a relationship with my lecturer because the classroom is so huge and after the lecture there's like a hundred students asking questions you, you get that you get that the, 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 you get what I mean you, you get what I mean so they just wanted to make it a very comfortable space for everyone and make it more make it easier for students to actually engage with their lectures and develop a relationship a substantial relationship in terms of like the academic side of things and the lecturer can get to understand me and I can get to understand what's going on considering that my class isn't so huge and like the lecturer doesn't even know me and I'm in the dark and 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 so yeah that's that so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog uh please stay tuned for more content please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already how are you at the end of this video and you haven't subscribed what are you doing Anyways, please make sure you subscribe, click the notification button, like, comment, and share with your family, your friends, your roster, you know, and uh, stay tuned for much more content. If you guys have questions concerning this uni thing that I just explained, or my application, or my experience, or, 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 and, 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 um, you can just hit me up, okay, uh, I will answer them. You can comment even, you can comment in the comment section, and I will answer from there um so yes like i said please stay tuned for more content and bye